When I woke up at 3 o'clock this morning, I found myself humming a song very quietly. I was singing the song, I will sing forever of the mercies of the Lord. I will sing, I will sing. With my mouth will I make known thy faithfulness, thy faithfulness. With my mouth will I make known thy faithfulness to all generations. My dear brothers and sisters, this morning in front of you, I want to sing another song, but I'm afraid it's going to rain if I complete singing the song. I am referring to the song entitled, My Tribute. Because the message of the song is so beautiful, it captures what is in my heart today as I celebrate our 38th priestly anniversary. Part of the song, My Tribute, says, How can I say thanks for the things you have done for me? Things so undeserved, Yet you gave to prove your love for me. The voices of a million angels could not express my gratitude. All that I am and ever hope to be, I owe it all to thee. To God be the glory. To God be the glory. To God be the glory for the things He has done. My dear friends, today, October 19, I celebrate 38 years of the gift of the priesthood. My heart is full of joy. My heart is full of gratitude. As I recall the anniversary of our ordination exactly 38 years ago, October 19 holds a special place in my heart and in the hearts of my classmates. When we were ordained together as a class composed of 13 young men at the Chapel of the Divine Word Seminary in Tagaytay. But why, you might ask, is it important to celebrate an anniversary? Anniversaries are like the markers on the journey of our lives. Anniversaries remind us of where we have been how far we have come, as well as the joys and the challenges we have faced along the way. Significant anniversaries like an ordination anniversary allow us to pause, allow us to reflect, allow us to pray, allow us to thank, allow us to express gratitude for the moments that have shaped our lives. Anniversaries provide an opportunity to express our love and appreciation for those who have been with us on this journey. It is a time to say thank you for being there and to reaffirm the bonds and the friendship that make priestly life meaningful. My dear friends, celebrating anniversaries offers a sense of continuity and purpose. It reminds us that our lives have a narrative, a story filled with experiences and memories, and every anniversary is a chapter in that story. And by celebrating it, we continue to write the narrative of our lives. My vocation story started in my family. I come from an ordinary, a typical provincial family. I am a product of the public school system. I grew up in a small and quiet town called Nauhan in Oriental Mindoro. I am the eldest in a family of seven. My father wanted me to be a dentist like him, but I wanted to be a journalist. I wanted to be a lawyer. And after elementary, my parents sent me to Letran in Manila for high school. And it was in Letran where my vocation to the priesthood started to take shape. 
I wanted to be a Dominican because I was initially attracted to their special kind of sutana. And when I was in college, I joined some religious organizations in the university and then I started attending search in sessions at Arviso House in Ateneo. I wanted to be a Jesuit. The attraction to the Eucharist and the priesthood was becoming more and more intense. And at some point in my life, I said, how would it feel to be the one presiding at Mass instead of just attending the Mass? And there is no priest without the Eucharist. There is no Eucharist without a priest. And then I started to associate myself with the SVD because our priests in Mindoro have always been SVD. I admired their sense of mission and ministry. I emulated many of them. Some of them became my friends. I got acquainted with the SVD and the rest, as they say, is history. My new SVD friends invited me to come over to Tagaytay to attend either an ordination or a, an, the annual family feast. I joined many SVD priests in some of their Thanksgiving Masses. I felt at home. That was in 1975 or 1976. I was in college. I felt and became more convinced that God is calling me to join the SVD. And I entered the SVD novitiate in Tagaytay in 1977. We were ordained in 1985 and since 1986 until 2018 or a total of 32 years, my mission assignment had always been at the University of San Carlos in Cebu City. That is why Cebu will forever hold a special place in my heart. I was transferred to Christ the King in 2018. My dear brothers and sisters, the French Dominican priest, Jean Baptiste Henry Lacordaire, who is considered one of the founding fathers of modern Catholicism, wrote a lovely reflection about the priesthood entitled, Thou Art a Priest Forever, that perfectly captures the life of a priest. I will quote Lacordaire below. To live in the midst of the world without desiring its pleasures, to be a member of every family yet belonging to none, to share all sufferings, to penetrate all secrets, to heal all wounds, to go from men to God and offer Him their prayers, and to return from God to men, to bring pardon and hope, to have a heart of fire for charity and a heart of bronze for chastity, to teach and to pardon, to console and to bless always. My God, what a life, and it is yours, O priest of Jesus Christ. Pardon me if today I feel a bit nostalgic. As I remember this special day in my young life, I was 29 years old. Our ordaining bishop was Archbishop Bruno Torpigliani, the then Apostolic Nuncio to the Philippines. My priestly ordination will be unforgettable in my memory. My family and the families of our classmates receive a very special gift that is not given to all families, the gift of the priesthood. When I woke up on October 19, 1985, and I went to my bathroom to prepare myself, I cried. I cried because I felt humbled by the enormity of the gift of the priesthood. I seldom cry. I do not easily cry. But on that day, on that very morning, I cried. My dear brothers and sisters, 
I am sharing my personal story because I want to inspire our young seminarians. I want to animate the, them for the seed of vocation that God has planted in their lives and in their hearts. My wish and my prayer is that someday most of these young men will also become divine word missionaries and priests. It feels great to be 38 and I am still counting and looking forward to the Ruby anniversary two years from now. I am looking back at all the blessings and favors the loving God has bestowed upon this divine word priest. Blessings that truly really matter, grace upon grace, favor upon favor. But I realize that God is not finished with me yet. I am excited to witness what God has in store for me for the final years of my life and priestly journey before the ultimate reunion with Christ, the eternal High Priest. If I could repeat my life, if I will have to live my life all over again, I would wish that I would again become a priest, a priest of the Society of the Divine Word. No regrets, simply gratitude. Amen.